Now for NBC Insider, the biggest loser is in its 16th season, and this season show features all former athletes. This season also comes with two new trainers, one of them joining us today, Jennifer Wiederstrom, the trainer for the white team. Mm -hmm. Your team doing all right so far? Um, well, obviously you're not watching the show, because if you were, <laughs> you'd know that we were like Tell everybody at home how the team is doing. You only lost one person. My girl caught. <laughs> yeah, you know what, as of this week... Which is a special week because of Mr. Donald Driver. Yes. But uh, as, we'll of, this, as of this week, we've only lost one person uh, from the white team. So it feels pretty good to be the newbie and, uh, and find your way pretty fast. It's a show that if you don't learn fast, you're off the back of the truck, you right. know. So learn fast and to do well and to see them doing so well as individuals is like the coolest thing for me. Okay, so you've got the, the season focuses on former athletes. Yes. So you're bringing in some hotshot NFL mm -hmm. players, uh, former Packer Donald Driver. Mm -hmm. What are these guys going to be doing this week to help you, the trainer, out? It's, it's kind of an interesting point in the season. We're the halfway point. They have been away from their families, their homes, their, their, their support group um, for over two months now. And so what we get to do is re-energize, you know, step up their game, up the ante, and bring in these football legends, Donald being one of them, mm -hmm. to come and kind of reinvigorate the process and, and further let them know what their journey is, is important, that it's very far reaching and that their success and progress is important to us and, 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 and also to these NFL legends. You seem so sweet and nice. We see this video here of oh, you yeah. screaming That's and why yelling. That's I said, I hope she's not going to make us work out today. Well, you know. No, you know, I think you have to, in the beginning, there is a tenderness. There's a, there's a, I believe in you for the both of us, right? There has to be that. But there has to be an intensity. There has to be a sense of, I need to push you. I'm asking this of you because I believe that I can get it from you. Mm -hmm. But also, I don't push people without taking care of them at the back half either. So I feel like it's important. I always joke that if I was in an interrogation room, I'm the cop that's like asking you for answers, but I'm also the cop that slides you a donut and a coffee. So you're the good cop? Well, I'm, I think I'm both. <laughs> Depends on the day. I'm a woman. I don't know. So these are former athletes. Do you find, is it like riding a bike? You find that competitiveness come back, oh, that drive snaps yeah. back into place? I, I agree. You know, it's an interesting thing. Being former athletes, these guys understand that there's a body awareness that's in place. They understand the bottom of, the, of a squat, the top of a squat. Mm -hmm. That's been fast, but the, the hardest part is, is them celebrating their progress. They don't feel successful until they're at the end mark, till I've won, till I've done it, till I've lost my weight. But anybody knows that if we can't celebrate the, the, the progress along the way, that's never going to happen here. And it's them honoring their journey and accepting that they don't have to be athletes to be successful, be, to be worthy. They just have to be great people, and that's what's worth celebrating. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. You can watch Jennifer on The Biggest Loser every Thursday at 7 right here on today's TMJ4.